and today we'll be taking a look at this bulb by GLED OPTO which is actually quite a decent RGB bulb and I would say hands down much better than my previous experience with smart LED bulbs. So with that let's jump right in. Starting out with the cost, for one GU10 smart bulb, it is $30.21 SGD. For three of them, it's $85.83 as sort of a bundle. For the E27 12W, it's $41.20, though there's also an E26 variant of it. For the wireless controller, which is needed, it's $25.58. For the RGB strip controller, it was $19.27. All of these items can be found in the link in the description down below. And this would actually put your starting kit price if you say you just wanted 3 GU10 bulbs and a smart controller, which would set you back about $111.41. For the specs of the GU10 bulbs, it is a 5 watt bulb with around 300 to 350 lumens a lifetime of 50,000 hours and either a beam angle of 30 degrees or 120 degrees. This can be bought in terms of your options though I would recommend the 30 degrees. The height of the bulb is 58mm and the width is 49.5mm in case your light has a restriction. The color temperature is 2700 to 6500 kelvins. For the E27 bulb, it's a 12 watt bulb with a lifetime of also 50,000 hours and a length of 147mm with a diameter of 70mm with a beam angle of 220 degrees. The color temperature of this one is 2000 to 6500. Okay, for both the E27 and GU10, they both have A plus energy ratings, which is quite decent, I'll say. Now, for the things that you do get, for the light, it's pretty simple with just the light bulb itself and some menus. And for the hub itself, it does come with, of course, the hub and some menus with a micro USB cable. No adapter. Setup is quite simple via the software. All you need to do is download the Smart Life app that can be found in the QR code that came along with the Smart Hub. And then now in the Smart Life app, go to add devices and add the zigbee gateway and making sure that you have plugged in the gateway your team with the blue light flashing and once you have had the zigbee gateway you can now access it on the main page allowing you to add other zigbee products which is all your other lights and upon adding other zigbee devices it sort of tells you how to pair them and now once you've added all your devices you're pretty much done with the setup from here, you can also group them as to turn off a few lights at the same time, though it's quite a tedious process to do so. Quality wise, I say the lights are quite good quality, they're very bright at night. And in the daylight, I say they add sort of an excellent lighting to your room. You can kind of see the individual LEDs and the weight of the light also doesn't make it feel like a cheap product like the previous LED lights I took a look at. What can be improved is probably the ability to add more devices in using this disco mode. And the disco mode doesn't really work very well. According to the app, it's supposed to use the mic and sort of time it with your music, but that doesn't work. I still can't copy and paste the same function of a lighting within a group. So you say I want to turn on light one by pressing a group. I can't really copy the same function to light two without having to manually do it again, which is quite annoying. What I find great about this lights, well, it's very affordable. For the price of like a few Philips Hue bulbs, I already have a whole setup including three LED lights and also the hub itself, which is great. The hub itself also can pair with Philips products, which is absolutely amazing. The great thing about this hub also is that you can add a whole bunch of different devices such as smoke detectors, um, smart switches, which is quite good, I'd say, if you want to upgrade in the future. In the end, I'll say that yes, this version of smart bulbs are a bit more costly than the previous ones I would take a look at in terms of pricing is actually about maybe three or four or five times even more due to the fact you need to buy a hub and then you can sort of guess each bulb is about 20 bucks which is a lot more. But the experience you do get is quite good, I'll say the brightness is amazing, software control is alright, you can also integrate it with a lot more things like 
smart remotes and smart plugs or so all within the same ecosystem which is absolutely amazing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, share a comment down below and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.